Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek. BlackBerry officials have seemed pretty unconcerned about leaks regarding its upcoming Passport smartphone, to the point that CEO John Shen has cracked jokes about the fact that so much information is available online about the phone. Now, there's a video demonstration of the new phone online. The video shows that the phone has a wide three-row keyboard on the bottom, and that the keyboard also seems to be touch-sensitive, allowing the user to scroll up and down with a thumb gesture over the keyboard and also to move side to side. In a recent blog post, BlackBerry's social media marketing head Donnie Halliwell said that the feature combines everything he loves about the traditional BlackBerry keyboard with the best aspects of BlackBerry 10's virtual keyboard. In an effort to improve its mobile advertising revenue, Yahoo has purchased mobile analytics firm Flurry. Flurry helps companies to better understand mobile users, and in turn, helps businesses make sure people are getting the most appropriate and most personalized ads. Flurry's analytics software is in an average of seven apps on every smartphone, and with the data it collects from 150 billion app sessions per month, Flurry says it gathers the deepest understanding of mobile customers. Rather than simply being known as a whistleblower, Edward Snowden is hoping to be considered a defender of individual privacy. In a remote appearance at the Hackers on Planet Earth conference in New York on July 19th, Snowden participated in a discussion with Daniel Ellsberg, himself a one-time whistleblower who leaked a top-secret Pentagon study about military decisions related to the Vietnam War. Snowden called on those present to help build a better future by encoding our rights into the programs and protocols which we rely on every day. Google officials have announced that more than one million Chromebooks were sold to schools in the second quarter. Stephen Baker, vice president of industry analysis for MBED Group, said in a statement following the report that the fact this many Chromebooks have been purchased before back-to-school season shows it's a legitimate third platform alongside Windows and Mac OS X and iOS. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.